please welcome Rita Berenwall. Good morning. I'm going to take a quick time out um, and do a safety brief. We are on the seventh floor of the museum building. Should we need to evacuate in case of an emergency, the stairs are just past where we all registered. On the left side, we'll take that all the way down and spill out through the atrium onto Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay? All right. I was told to be fast-paced and quick, so we had a question. How many of you have seen Hamilton or know what it is? All right, I'm going to wrap my remarks. <laughs> so that excites some of you, and that probably makes some of you uncomfortable. So I want you to capture that moment, that excitement, and that discomfort, because that's where good things happen. Great achievements come from being outside of our comfort zone. So um, there's five things I want to tell you about today. One is, what's gain? Why now? What's different? What is, what's it done for me lately? And how can I get in on the action? So first. GAIN is a way to conduct research in our nuclear industry differently. It's about partnering private industry with the DOE complex and the national labs to make sure that we can get innovative nuclear technologies to the commercial market faster. I'm going to repeat what I said. To make sure we get innovative technologies to the market faster. That's important. We've already heard this morning that these advanced nuclear technologies need to be commercially viable. And that is a very important message for us to take away from today. So I'm thrilled to be in this role because I've always done things a little bit differently um, from going off the beaten path of my prescribed experiments as an intern to help make sure that aircraft evacuation slides, should you ever have the misfortune of needing to use one, will deflate and, and be, be deployed appropriately to uh, being relegated to do my mad scientist experiments in the midnight hours because uh, there was some risk involved, involved with them. Um, but I can tell you firsthand, it is fantastic to be able to innovate differently. So second, why now? We heard Cam talk about Einstein's quote. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So we've heard today that we are not on top. We're lagging, and we need to be back on top and provide clean energy leadership and contribute to our energy independence. So to do this, of course, we need to innovate differently. So I'm here to tell you that DOE recognized a few years ago that this needs to occur, and GAIN was launched in November of 2015. They realized that something had to be done differently to make sure that we got new technologies to market faster. So GAIN is that difference maker, and it's the way that we are going to innovate differently. So what is different? Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Many of the folks that we heard from this morning and that we'll still hear from today, they're trailblazers. We in GAIN are here to help them navigate down those paths. They're leading the industry, and that's what's different now. The tables are a bit turned. The innovators are leading us. The way that GAIN helps them is by giving them access to the crown jewels that are in the DOE complex. That includes our laboratories, our programs, the expertise, the historical data. But one thing I hear people often say, we've looked at that before. Remember the molten salt reactor experiment? We've looked at high temperature gas before. We've explored fast reactor technology before. Why are we looking at it again? I maintain that there have been so many advances that have been made in the past several years, including those in modeling and simulation, remote handling capabilities, advanced sensors, advanced materials. None of these were as well developed today or even invented as, they, as when these other new, new concepts and current concepts were hashed. So what's being done for me lately? If you want something you never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. We've already seen a lot of progress with GAIN. We heard from developers this morning. We heard from Cam just now. 
GAIN has demonstrated over the past several months that we are indeed doing something differently. We listened. Last summer, we held workshops with the advanced nuclear reactor developers, and we asked them what their needs were. Tell us what you need from the DOE to accelerate your concepts. We collected that, we listened, and then we quickly turned it around and influenced the CINR proposal call. CINR is a Consolidated Innovative Nuclear Research Proposal Call, so that folks could apply for DOE funding um, through those mechanisms. We've started getting developers access to historical documentation so that they don't have to redo uh, experiments or reinvent the wheel. Um, we heard from Oklo earlier this morning that one of the gain vouchers that they want is doing exactly that for them. And then we're also streamlining the contracting process for working with DOE, trying to make it easier to do work within the National Laboratory Complex. As a, the result of getting folks together and trying to collect their information and input of the DOE, technology working groups were formed for high temperature gas reactor, for molten salt reactor, and for fast reactor technologies. These folks in their own right are competitors but when they came together last summer, they realized <clears throat> they're trying to solve some of the same problems. And so why not do it collaboratively as a team? You heard earlier that we've also already awarded almost $2 million in vouchers to do work at the national laboratories. We've heard that we need to be working with the NRC. So I'm happy to share with you that we recently signed an MOU, a memo of understanding with the NRC, wherein we will be working with them to answer licensing questions. So if you have a question, send it to gain at inl.gov, and then we will be working with the NRC to get those answered, and we'll post those on our website, which is gain.inl.gov. And then we've held workshops on modeling and simulation most recently, but we'll be holding more workshops in the year to come as well, looking at fuel safety research, uh, digital INC, as well as advanced manufacturing. So we've accomplished a lot in one year. And I'm happy to say we're not slowing down. So the final question is, how do I get in on some of the gain action? So you heard from Laura Shealy earlier today. We just announced our second voucher call, wherein you, you can apply for funding to do work at one of the national laboratories. Funding call opens up. It, the letter of intent call is already open, and the funding call opens up around March 13th. That's one vehicle of how, of how you can get in on GAIN. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at GAIN Nuclear as well. So I'm going to leave you with an inspirational quote that embodies what GAIN is trying to do and where it's going. And I talked about being outside of your comfort zone. It was given to me by my spin instructor, who, if you've never taken a spin class, take one and you will stay out of your comfort zone. But she said, and it's an African proverb, she said, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And I'm looking forward to gain propelling us to go far. Thank you. <laughs>